Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Recording this on the morning of uh, Saturday, October 7th. A cool, brisk, 40 degree day in Kansas City, I may add. All right, so let's jump into take a look at the markets for the week and then we'll jump in for all of our trades that we closed for the week. So starting with the S&P, obviously the jobs report uh, came out, looked, uh, it was hotter than expected, ended up pushing the markets lower with the anticipation that the Fed would continue with the old rates higher for longer. And then something changed. Things ripped higher and the market decided we don't care. Um, so ended up obviously a big green bar on, uh, on, on Friday. If you look at where we started the, uh, the week on Monday, the, the market closed almost exactly where we opened. So big push lower, big push higher, all back to where we started the week. NASDAQ closed a little bit higher for the week. Russell closed a little bit lower for the week. And the Dow, pretty similar to the S&P, closed right back where we started. Gold finally caught a bid on Friday. Silver, big bounce on Friday as well. Notes and bonds continuing to get crushed. Tried to bounce a little bit on Friday, but still ended uh, much lower. 10-year yield popped up to 4.88, currently at 4.797. Oil, which looked like it was going to continue ripping through $100 a barrel, has just fallen apart all the way from 95 back down to 82 Natty Gas, big bounce this week, uh, up to 3.33. Uh, grains a little bit mixed, soybeans lower, wheat pretty f much unchanged, and corn a little bit higher on the week. Euro and the pound uh, catching a little bit of, bit of a bid versus the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar finally starting to show a little bit of weakness this week. And Bitcoin popping its head, trying to keep its head above 28,000. Uh, if we look at the VIX... Um, obviously inverse of what the stocks did. So big rally earlier, uh, VIX reached a high of a high tick of 20.88 before retracing back down into the 17 handle. All right. So that's a quick look at the markets. Let's take a look at our trade. So uh, a couple things. One, Trader Sync uh, has a known issue going right now that they will, they're in the process of fixing, but essentially it's only allowing me to, to display one setup at a time. So as opposed to kind of totaling things up for you, had to do that manually. So let me give you a quick high level overview and then we'll go into the, each of the individual strategies. So total profit of this week for zero DTE, $12,635. And then total profit for just power hour, uh, plus 15,510. All right. So let's go through, I'll, I'll break down these, each of these strategies. So, First was the AM ratio on a Thursday, had one trade for plus 1,930. Next one, uh, AM ratio Tuesday, had one win for 1,679. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, morning trades, uh, minus 605, had three of those. And actually, actually had two, which would have been slightly net green for the week. Uh, I did take another discretionary one on Friday with the premiums as juiced as they were. I uh, wanted to add a little bit of exposure. Both of those ended up getting stopped out, so slightly red on those for the week. DKS had two winners in the Dick K special, plus 1305. I actually um, should have taken one on Friday as well, but I literally forgot to take the trade. So I... <laughs> Could have been a winner, could have been a loser. It looked like some folks in our community had winners, some had uh, some some loss. So could have been an escape, could have been a small winner, but either way, I didn't take the trade. So plus 1305 on the DKS for the week. My zero day ducks getting smoked. Two big losses on the uh, ducks, minus 11,340. Uh, no FOMC trades. JSPs. Uh, just sell puts took quite a few of those this week. Ended up net negative minus four thousand. Uh, you can see on Friday took a bunch of them that were uh, discretionary and and winning trades. Uh, but then uh, earlier in the week had a minus seventy two hundred and minus twelve hundred, so put me red on those for the week. Uh, all right, so for power hour, so for each one, so I uh, did a, a two to one ratio. 
uh, ended up being a small scratch minus 160 bucks. By the way, if you see these open, that's just because the option, the long options that I let expire haven't, haven't, uh, settled yet. So they are closed, but, um, anyway, minus 160 on that one for tranche one, my normal tranche one, uh, three trades my, or, uh, plus 2,228. Uh, also did a three to two ratio for tranche one. Um, on this day, booked 5,858. For tranche two, uh, tranche two was a little bit rough this week, minus 5,138. And then the big winner for the different power hour tranches was tranche three, plus 12,695. And I would have had another winner, uh, but I was having some, some broker issues on Friday, so I actually didn't get to enter one on Friday. But plus 12,695 for the week, for just for tranche three. Uh, let's see, PM ratio Tuesdays, yeah, none of those. Uh, none on Wednesday either, I don't believe, yeah. Uh, quiet lunches, didn't take one on Friday. Monday, no, no on Monday either. Uh, let's see, there was one on, I think it was Tuesday. No, not Tuesday. Maybe it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, so just the one quiet lunch this week on Wednesday, plus 5,470. And then zero DTE reverse iron condors. Took two of those, one plus 740, one uh, plus 1,970, so plus 2,700 on those. So that's it for zero DTE. On the dynamic butterflies, uh, only time flies. And I uh, just had one closed trade plus uh, $585 on that one. And then on uh, dynamic calendars, so total profit on calendars for the week plus $3,565. Uh, we'll break those down. We've got a one, two. Uh, we had three of those plus 830 net on those three. Um, had a on the one threes. Just had one trade plus 230. And then um, didn't have any that only had a, had a 3.5 that ended up being a loser. Uh, minus 150. We've got another one on that's open. We'll close that one on Monday. Uh, also a 3.6. That was just the one we opened. So no closing trades there. No 3.7s. Uh, let's see, the only other one would be a 6.7 that we did this week. And that was a nice winner for a total of 2,655. So those are all the calendars that we did. Um, let's see, Iron Ducks. I think we just opened one. Yeah, opened one in QQQ, so no closed trades there. Uh, option selling, so total profit for, well, we had two trades. We had a Hedgehog that we closed in ES for plus 3,450. And then we had a VXX trade that we closed for minus 1500. So net positive on option selling. And then lastly, uh, portfolio margin. So we had a call swoosh that we closed for 1,630. Uh, by the way, I'm loving these portfolio margin trades. If you are eligible to trade uh, with your broker with portfolio margin, we have some really cool strategies that we can implement uh, but you got to have, you got to qualify for portfolio margin with your broker. Uh, so the call swoosh plus 1630 also had um, a couple of Humpty Dumpties uh, net plus 4,800. So had a nice winner for 5,600, had a loser for 400, winner for 400, and a loser for 800. So net net plus 4,800 on the Humpties. And then the only other portfolio margin trade that closed was a reverse calendar that was a loser for uh, 4,194. So net net on portfolio margin plus 2,236 on the week. So that is it, my friends. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Look forward to next week. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.